In this next Kodak Smart Touch application video, I'm going to cover the image processing features known as Kodak Perfect Page that come standard with most Kodak scanners. To access the image processing features of the scanner, click on the scanner icon located in the system tray, then click on Configure. This will bring up the Smart Touch application window. In the Scan As section, click on the Settings button. This will open the Kodak Settings shortcut window. There are four default scan edge setting shortcuts predefined for use by the Kodak scanner. Click on the default shortcut, then click on Settings. This brings up the Kodak Perfect Page image processing options that are available. There are four tabs available, General, Size, Adjustments, and Enhancements. Starting on the General tab, there are three scan as formats to choose from black and white 1 bit which produces a black and white version of your document grayscale 8 bit which produces a grayscale version of your document color 24 bit which produces a color version of your document there are three document types to choose from text use this selection when the document you are scanning contains mostly text text with graphics use this selection when the document that you are scanning contains a mix of text business graphics and line art Photograph. Use this selection when the document you are scanning contains mostly photographs. Media Type. Allows you to select the type of paper you are scanning based on texture and weight. The options are plain paper, thin paper, glossy paper, cardstock, and magazine. Resolution or DPI dots per inch allows you to select your scanning quality. The options are from 100 to 1200 DPI. Compression allows you to reduce the electronic image size. Depending on which scan as format you choose will depend on which compression options will be available. If you scan as black and white, the compression options available are None and Group 4. If you scan as grayscale or color, JPEG compression will be used. Select the quality of JPEG compression you want to use. Going to the Size tab next, Document allows you to select how the scanner will detect your document as it is being fed through the scanner. There are three options. Automatically detect and straighten. The scanner will automatically find each document regardless of size and will straighten any document that may have been fed crooked. Automatically detect. The scanner will automatically find each document regardless of size. If a document is fed crooked, it will not be straightened manually select. The scanner will return an image based on the area you specify with the outline options. Image allows you to select which part of the document you want to use for creating your electronic image. Entire document. Under document, if you select any one of the three options, it will return the entire document. Part of document. Under document, if you select it automatically detect and straighten, it returns the portion of the document which you specify with the outline options. Outline allows you to select the location and size to use for creating your electronic document. Origin X and Y. If you select automatically detect and straighten, X is the distance from the left edge of the document and Y is the distance from the top edge of the document. If you selected manually select, X is the distance from the left edge of the scanner's paper path, and Y is the distance from the first portion of the document detected by the scanner. Size, Width and Height. If you selected either automatically detect and straighten or manually select, this is the width and height of the electronic image. Angle allows you to select the angle of the outline. Predefined Sizes provides a list of commonly used paper sizes. Selecting an item in this list will automatically set the size of the outline to that paper size. Custom will be displayed when the outline size does not match any sizes in the list. Border allows you to select what action to perform on the edges of your electronic image. None, no border will be added. Add includes up to approximately a tenth of an inch of border around all of the image edges. Post scan rotation allows you to select any rotation to be applied to the electronic image after it has been scanned. None, no rotation will be applied. Automatic, the scanner will analyze each document to determine how it was fed and will rotate the image to the proper orientation. 
90, 180, and 270 degrees, the amount of rotation that will be performed on the image. Now for the Adjustments tab. The options available on this tab depend on the Scan As selection on the General tab. The following options are based off of a Scan As selection of black and white. Conversion Quality. These settings affect how the scanner analyzes a grayscale version of the document which is used to produce the black and white electronic image. The options available are Best, Eye Thresholding. The scanner analyzes each document to determine the optimal setting to produce the highest quality image. This option is best used when scanning mixed documents with varying quality. Normal ATP allows you to determine the optimal settings to produce the desired image quality. This option works best when scanning consistent document sets. Draft Fixed allows you to select the grayscale threshold used to determine if a pixel is black or white. This option works best for high contrast documents. Contrast allows you to make an image sharper or softer. Decreasing this setting will make the image softer and reduce noise in the image. Increasing this setting will make the image clearer and make light information more visible. When using normal ATP, the thresholding selection is available. Threshold aids in controlling the level at which a pixel is considered black or white. Decreasing this setting will make the image appear lighter and can be used to subdue background noise. Increasing this setting will make the image appear darker and can be used to help pick up light information. In the filter section, there is a noise and image adjustment. Under noise, there are three options. None. No noise filter will be applied. Lone pixel. Reduces random noise by converting a single black pixel to white when it is completely surrounded by white pixels or by converting a single white pixel to black when it is surrounded completely by black pixels. Majority Rule Sets each pixel based on its surrounding pixels. The pixel will become white if the majority of the surrounding pixels are white and vice versa. Under Image there are two options. None, no image filter will be applied, and Halftone Removal, which enhances dot matrix text and images with halftone screens such as newspaper photographs. Invert Colors allows you to select how the black pixels will be stored in the image. By default, black pixels are stored as black and white pixels stored as white. Turn this option on if you want the black pixels stored as white and the white pixels stored as black. The following options are based off of a scan as selection of color or grayscale. Under Brightness and Contrast, there are three options. None. No brightness or contrast adjustments will be applied. Automatic automatically adjusts each image. Manual allows you to select specific values that will be used for all images. When manual is selected, use the brightness control to change the amount of white in the color or grayscale image. Use the contrast control to make the image sharper or softer looking. Under Sharpen, there are four options available. None, Normal, high, and exaggerated. Use this option to increase the contrast of edges within the images. Background color smoothing. Use this option for documents or forms with a background color will help produce images with a more uniform background color. There are three options available. None, automatic, which smooths up the three background colors. Automatic advanced, for advanced users that want to further adjust the automatic option. Use the aggressive scale to adjust the extent at which the backgrounds are determined. Now for the Enhancements tab. Hole Fill allows you to fill in holes that are around the edges of your document. Blank Image Detection allows you to configure the scanner to not give blank images to the scanning application. There are three options available under Blank Image Detection. None. Blank images will be given to the scanning application. 2. Based on document content. Images will be considered blank based on the document content within the image. Content amount allows you to select the maximum amount of content that the scanner will consider to be blank. Based on size. Images will be considered blank based on the size of the image that would be given to the scanning application. Final image size. Allows you to select the minimum image size that the scanner will consider to be non-blank. 
Image Edge Fill fills in the edges of the final electronic image by covering the area with the specified color. There are five options under the color. None. No image edge fill will be applied. Automatic. The scanner will automatically fill the edges of the image using the surrounding color. Automatic including tears. In addition to filling the edges, the scanner will also fill in tears along the edge of the document. White fills in the edges of the image using white. Black fills in the edges of the image using black. All sizes match. When turned on, an equal amount will be filled in on all sizes. This option is only available when using the white or black image edge fill. When not turned on, you can specify the amount that will be filled on on each side. Streak filter allows you to configure the scanner to filter vertical streaks from your images. When streak filter is turned on, you can select the aggressiveness of the extent at which streaks are filtered. Color dropout. Used to eliminate a form's background so that only the entered data is included in the electronic image. Under color there are five options. None. No color will be dropped out. Multiple. Drops colors other than dark shades. Predominant. Drops the predominant color. Red, green, blue. Drops either red, green, or blue from the document. There is also an aggressiveness setting when the color is set to multiple or predominant. The aggressiveness setting allows you to adjust the extent at which the colors are dropped. This concludes the Codec Perfect Page Image Processing features. Be sure to check out other Codec Smart Touch application videos.